Hi, I'm Chad. In the fall of 2020, I bought this boat, a Columbia 107 called Semantis, for $750. We motored her south to her new home at Chipman Point Marina on Lake Champlain. She is now undergoing a complete refit in preparation to begin sailing the world. working on the side of the boat here this weekend and I forgot to grab my camera but I wanted to show you this right here I'm, I'm gonna glass this side of the cabin top this is this built up half inch thick glass all of them all the way around you can see the wood that's exposed so I need to fire the generator up and Give this a quick sanding, clean up these edges. You see where I used thickened epoxy and I filled everything all the way around. I'm gonna get the multi-tool and cut this little bit of glass out. That's the tabbing from the old bulkhead up top here. And I'll probably maybe cut that back a little bit as well. Cause I'm gonna be trying to wrap this glass around this edge and grab on there uh, this had fallen down a little bit previously so these clamps are all there because I glued it back up and then once this glass wraps over I think it'll hold this corner together just fine I'm only trying to get to this point here I still need a patch in this little piece and then I can wrap glass around all this back portion hopefully next weekend but if I get past this point here with a glass my two main bulkheads there's one here and there is one over there in the back so I can start putting those bulkheads in and simultaneously be working on this piece here so today's project got this glass I'm going to wet this the whole thing out with thickened epoxy, thickened with silica, and I am going to hang the glass. I found that the thickened epoxy sets up pretty quickly and gets pretty sticky. And then you can apply the glass here, which I have to go up and cut in 1708. And the other thing I have found is, and I actually saw it on a video, I can't take credit for it, and it says it on the container. If you thin down your epoxy with acetone, it actually says uh, thins fiberglass resins right on there. If you do that, it penetrates the glass very, very nicely. I'm using the total boat still, but I brought the, the 105 West systems and the 205 hardener that I've got left over, just a little bit of it, uh, just in case I run out of this stuff here. I might have to swap. I'm close on epoxy hardener to running out and I've got more ordered but I'd hate to get in the middle of this project and run out of it so that's why I got the extra stuff here I'm gonna cut this glass first and sand it and we'll get started I've got this all wet out with uh, epoxy I don't know if you can see the shine or not this camera is not great on this phone but I got some lights going it's about to get tacky here. We'll see if this is ready to stick this dry glass up there. If it is, I'm gonna mix up some epoxy and start to wet it out. Yes. I've got the glass up. Didn't take very long, probably not even an hour. So now I'm mixing up another, oh, six pumps, hardener and resin. My brush even is still soft enough to continue to use from laying out the thickened epoxy. It kind of tells you how short of a time frame it takes. Adding that little bit of thickener makes quite a bit of difference in making this stuff tacky and sticky. You don't have to wait all that long to make it start to work. So I just added a little bit of acetone to my epoxy here. You can probably hear me stirring. And I'm going to start putting this in place. <laughs> Thank you. 
Everybody's climbing, climbing, trying to get to the show. To the show. Life is money, money, and you're just a hoe. Don't take it personal. I'm talking about me too. What else should we do? What else should we do? No, 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 no. But I gotta admit, it feels so good. Like a sugar sweet.
let's go. Next week, I'm going to template those bulkheads again. I've got them over here in the corner. I'm going to fine tune the templates with my ticking stick. And then I'll be able to take them back to the shop and recut them and bring the pieces here. They're not quite going to fit in the car, so we'll have to figure out how I'm going to do that. And also in the middle of doing this, I'll be filling in that little square spot of core that's missing there in the countertop side. I'll replace that. And then I'll come back here in the aft end on the starboard side. And I'll do the same thing I just did in the front. I'll tie it all together, tap it in, and put that glass in place. So that should take care of this side of the cabin top. Finish that all out. It's not too bad. Thicken the epoxy up. That bonds the glass to the inverted surface pretty well. It doesn't need to set very long. Thin the epoxy to wet out the glass. That's how you go about doing inverted fiberglass. I want to thank those that have subscribed to my channel or like, share, and comment on my videos. If you're new to my channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helps me to gain traction here on YouTube.